Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how you can create this desktop background I have here. I've been receiving quite a lot of requests, in fact it is probably the most requested thing that I've received on this channel of how I actually create this background. Uh, the program that we'll be using is Cinema 4D and you suppose you can maybe edit it in Photoshop later on to just maybe tweak with the colours but uh, that um, kind of loses with the quality a bit but it's kind of see well, you, you'll see you'll see so let's open up cinema 4d shall we and go to MoGraph and just import a text object so I'm just gonna write Connor and I've got a cool font here that I've been using and it's called mod mod and it did not save so I'll type in again mod click OK and move it along and there you see is the font uh, but we, we want to give it a bit of depth, we want to give it a bit of a bit of beefiness to it so I'm just going to crank up the size to about 150 and then yeah, there you have the block sort of text now we're going to go to plane and I'm just going to sort with the floor so I'm just going to increase this to about 3000 Two, three, three thousand. No, I'm not going to make it a bit bigger than that. I'm going to make it nine thousand by nine thousand. There we go. And now I'm going to sort with the textures. Now, this is, if you go back on the desktop, I used like a lime green, sort of like a yellowy sort of color. Uh, obviously, you can use whatever colors you want. But I tell you what, in fact, we're going to sort out with the text. You see that the um, edges are slightly rounded here. So you just want to basically add some caps. So go to, on the text, go to caps, fillet cap, and fillet cap. Uh, receive the new email. Two, I like two by, f I like three by four, and three by four. That's what I don't like about Cinema 40. The arrows are so small, let's click the wrong one. I know that just creates a nice sort of a roundness towards the text. Now we're going to go on to the textures. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sort of matte black dark grey finish on the front. So this is the most simple the texture. So just go to new texture, colour. And click a dark grey. I recommend using a dark grey and not a black because of the lighting that we use. So just drag that on. And you will see that it basically fills the whole text whereas what we want to do is we want it to just show on the front panel as opposed to the back so to do this you want to click on the material go to selection and type C C1 make sure it's in capitals I think C1 and there you go you see that it's black on the front and the default texture at the back now we're going to create the line green that we have around the sides go make a new material color uh, texture, you want to go to gradient and under the gradient tan, you want to go to 2D V and the front color you want to be a nice sort of yellow like limey green yellow and you want to make it just a little bit brighter green like like so under the color you want to go, to, go on this little arrow by the texture and copy channel and go to luminance tick luminance and paste channel and you can also add in a reflection. I, I lower the brightness down to zero and add a Fresnel, which is a more realistic type of type of reflection. And I just also lower that down a bit to about 30%. And then what I like to do is I like to drag that on the text object. But you notice it it overlays on that black. So you just want to get the green and just drag it before the black. So therefore it fills the rest of the text and like so now you've got this sort of text but it's not the same you don't have the shadow it doesn't look at like sitting on anything you don't have these kind of dark bits and the light bits on the top so to do this you want to go to well lighting you want to go yeah we're going to be sorting with the lighting so you go to render settings effect and you want to take ambient occlusion and maximum ray length crank up to around 150 and the contrast up to about 40 and if you just render it out here it may take a little bit longer but what it does it it, it kind of finds where the shadows would actually be and kind of puts them in it's, it's a clever way instead of using the light 
It's kind of like a 360 light in many respects. And there we go, we have the nice text with some shadows going in there. And that is a lot of the actual tutorial. But another thing that I like to do is kind of like a cheap spotlight effect. So make a new um, new material color, go to gradient, and under the gradient I want to make it 2D and circular. And the front color I want to be a light gray, and the end color to be a black. And then just in front of the first first keyframe for the um, for the materials, I'm going to tick a dark gray. So it, looks some, it should look something like this. And then if you just test that out, you see that it, it's kind of like a spotlight effect. So if we just render it out, it looks like there's a spotlight shining down on the text and it fades more towards black in the background. But because of the size of the text, I'm going to lower the gray field a bit so it's just not as large. Bring that in a little bit and maybe the black in it just a tad as well. That is looking good. And we can render that out, see what that looks like. Urgh. Now you could just use the light settings up here for the shadows and everything, but I don't I don't think it's as good, even though it takes longer to render using the ambient occlusion. It gives a much better feel and if it's just a picture it's not that long. But as you see it's coming together quite well. But if you take a look, you see there's a little on the top of the text there's different sort of different brightnesses so it's like dark there light there and to do this this is very basic you want to make a new plane not a box my bad click and hold go to plane drag it up just so it's out of view make a new layer double click in the space color we want to go to just want to take luminance pretty much and yeah luminance and the brightness just up just a little bit reflection and just lower it down so you should have a bright white feel so add that onto the plane and if we just render it out here it does take quite a while it just creates some diffusion on the top of the text as you see there and you can maybe lower it down just a little bit so it's maybe more visible render it out again but there we go just messing around with some things now guys hope you enjoy this tutorial by the way um, and I might have to finish it there so thank you for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something uh yeah you can change the color of the materials just for a color and if you want to change the color and you change these two just say to a light blue and a darker blue you you need to make sure that you copy it again onto the luminance because like well, i did that a bit so i left the luminance the same so it didn't didn't so it wasn't like the actual color that i made it to be but there we go. Thanks for watching this video, guys. That's how I made my desktop background. That's about it for me. And I'll uh, see you guys soon. Bye.